Matt Stepp with Dave Campbell's Texas Football here in Alpine, Texas, doing a socially distant interview with the head coach of the Alpine Fighting Bucks, Coach John Fellows, as summer strength and conditioning starts up today. Coach, I uh, appreciate you having us out. We appreciate you coming all the way down here and seeing what we're doing down here in Alpine. Greatly appreciate it. Right now you've got your, uh, your junior high kids out here uh, doing their, their portion of summer strength and conditioning. I'm very impressed with the numbers. Uh, I guess some parents uh, wanted to get the kids out of the house a little bit. I think you're right. Uh, we had about over 60, 60 or 70 uh, junior high boys and girls show up this morning and looks like our high school are starting to come in too. So we're, the numbers are great. That was one thing we weren't real sure about is who was going to show up, how many were going to show up. Uh, but we're very excited about who, who's all here. And, uh, you know, obviously there's, there's some changes this year right now with how, how we're doing it because of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so far, your first run. Uh, what do you think? How, how did it go? I mean, it was a little bit different, but how, how did the kids and your and your coaches handle uh, all the safety precautions that have been put in place? I, th I think we're doing well. We're going to try to do our part, just like every other coach in Texas, you know, to make sure that we can get to the fall and and get get football and volleyball and cross country up and going. And uh, you know, how, kid, kids need routine. And do you feel like after two or three days, as the kids kind of get accustomed to it, uh, they'll kind of settle into settle into a routine a little bit? I think so, and that's exactly what I told them. I said the hardest day is the first day, and then the next hardest day is Wednesday. So uh, once they once they learn what we're doing, and we're going to do the same thing for about two weeks. So hopefully, you know, they'll settle in and learn more, and it'll be really good for our young kids. What's the the, the format of your strength and conditioning going to be? I mean, we talked off camera. You're not going to do any any sport specific right away. Uh, obviously, the kids haven't been doing much for about three months. I mean, some of them may have been working on their own, but but overall. Uh, you, you guys haven't had your hands on your kids in a while and be able to see what they can do. So what's kind of the process going to be as you kind of uh, ramp up? You know, we, uh, we, we're going to bring them along slow. We're gonna, we kind of took a page out of the football notebook. We're going to acclimate them for about two weeks, and everything's going to be outside. So basically what we're working on is some flexibility, uh, agility, and speed, and just trying to get them moving again and trying to get some air in their lungs. So it's going to be a lot of body weights and, and, and stuff like that. I guess they'll still be a little sore tomorrow, won't they? If they haven't been doing anything, they're still going to be sore. And that's one of the deals on their questionnaire, you know, as far as, you know, symptoms and sore muscles. So I said, you're going to just have to use your best judgment because you are going to be a little sore tomorrow, especially if you haven't been doing anything. Let's look ahead to your, your Alpine Fighting Bucks, the varsity football team for 2020. Obviously, you're the athletic director, so you want all the sports to do well. And you got all your, your guys and girls out here working right now, but specifically your football team next year. You guys had a good year last year. You went 9-3. and three. Uh, lost in a tough area round game to Friona. Um, this year it looks like you guys and Crane, kind of old rivals, are going to be fighting it out for the district title again. H how do you see uh, your ball club, what, what are the strengths and weaknesses of your ball club going to be as you head into 2020? I think our strengths are going to be up front with our offensive line, and we've got a great group of young men coming back, some juniors and sophomores that are going to be just fine. Uh, the one thing that we're going to have to find that we had great leadership last year. So if we can have some young men step up into those leadership roles, we shouldn't miss a beat. All right, Coach, uh, you mentioned offensive line is going to be a strength. What are some uh, areas that you're hoping you know, you, some young guys step up in and fill some roles uh, for some departed seniors, obviously aside from the leadership aspect? So we got uh, Jaden Canaba stepping into the, probably that quarterback role. Uh, he's going to be the quarterback next year starting out, and he got a lot of valuable playing time early last year uh in the first five ball games so him and then we're gonna have to have some back step in there some to take over the role of some seniors that left but uh oh all in all you know i think it's just like anybody else injuries injuries if we can stay away from the injury bug which we did last year uh i think we're going to have a very good football team coach final question for you now uh tepper and i love alpine we think it's one of our favorite 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 places in the state of texas Talk about a Friday night in Alpine in it, here at Buck Stadium. What's the atmosphere like when uh, the Purple and Gold Bucks uh, take the field on a Friday night? Well, since I've been, I've been here for five years, and I tell you what, you're looking at our, our home stands right here. When we play a home game, uh, you've got the beautiful scenery, you've got the sun setting, uh, you've got the cool breeze coming in, you know, from being out here in the desert, and these stands are packed. Uh, they love their Bucks. Uh, they love to come out and watch them and support them, and it's, uh, it's a great, great atmosphere. We appreciate your time. Uh, congrats on a heck of a 2019 season. Good luck in 2020, and uh, we're glad to be back working again. Sir, and again, man, thanks for coming down and seeing us. Appreciate it.